So now to clarify this fitness thing, right? Fitness. I want to get fit. I want to get in shape. I'm going to tell you what are not fitness goals. Don't say them to me ever. There's a bunch of you that have said them to me and I love you to death. You guys know everything I do is from a place of love. This is all positivity. I know I get intense. I'm very passionate about this. Why? Because I wish somebody told me this shit 17 years ago when I was popping ephedrine pills and lifting weights an hour a day and spending an hour on the treadmill every day and eating brown rice and farm raised tilapia. I wish somebody would have told me this stuff. So I'm saying it to you, not fitness goals. I want to get in shape. I want to lose arm flab. I want a flat stomach. I want smaller thighs. Abs. I want abs. Not fitness goals, everybody. Not fitness goals. Why? Because they're not measurable. None of these things are measurable. You have to choose things that are measurable and you need to work towards them. To give you an example, this spot reduction bullshit, I want smaller thighs. I want a flat tummy. I want to lose the flab under my arm, right? You're talking about changing body composition. Start speaking in terms of changing body composition. I want to be shredded. Sure, what's your definition of shredded? What body fat percentage are you right now? What body fat percentage do you want to be? What's your definition of shredded? Have you looked at pictures online? This is what 13% body fat looks like. This is what 9% body fat looks like. This is what 17% body fat looks like. If you're 35% body fat and you want to say, I, I want to get shredded, that's a stupid goal. Pick a new goal. We'll get there a year from now but pick a new goal. You don't even know what shredded means. You're just using this terminology that you hear and read in magazines because you're standing in Kroger and you see how to get shredded abs and you're like, that's what I want. I want to look like that girl on the magazine. What are fitness goals? Well, I want to double my deadlift weight. That's a fitness goal. I want to hold a handstand for 30 seconds. That's a fitness goal. I want to run a sub eight minute mile. That's a fitness goal. I want to do 10 unbroken pull-ups. That's a fitness goal. Right now, I'm working on strict ring muscle-ups, strict slow ring muscle-ups. That's a goal of mine. I want to put on 10 pounds of lean muscle mass. That's a goal. I want to lose 10% body fat. That's a goal. I want to complete a half marathon. That's a goal. These are fitness goals. This is how you have to approach fitness. And again, it's why I say that CrossFit could do this right. If you have like world-class CrossFit coaches, there are really good, good CrossFit coaches out there, but it's too easy to start a CrossFit gym. It's too easy to get a level one CrossFit certificate. If I have one more person email me bragging to me that they're a level one coach or that, well, I'm working with a level one CrossFit coach. Really? That's like going and getting your driver's license when you're 15. Like, a level one coach, congratulate. Do you know how many obese level one CrossFit coaches I've seen in my life? Literally obese, 30 to 60 pounds overweight level one CrossFit coaches. Don't give me that. You could do it correctly if the programming is right. But when they're going on some website and pulling the programming from regionals, it's like, okay, we're going to increase your strength and your speed and your muscle and decrease your body fat all at the same time. That's how you know someone's taking your money. That's like some P90X shit. Right? So think about it. Anybody who's complete, let's talk about P90X like Beachbody, like these programs, right? Anybody who's completed one of those, how did you measure progress? Because I'm willing to bet that none of you got body composition measurements done before and after. I'm willing to bet that none of you did the day one exercise, put a chest strap heart rate monitor on, monitored your heart rate the entire time. Then after you completed the course, went back and did the day one video again, measured your heart rate and compared it to day one to see if your aerobic capacity has increased whatsoever. Nobody knows that. How do you know if you got stronger? You don't. You don't know anything. You don't even know what you're working towards. This idea of fitness, right? That's why everybody's saying, I wanna get in shape. It makes my head explode because we don't know what the hell in shape means. We have to define in shape. And this is how the fitness industry is stealing your money because you think about all these programs like, like P90X1, then P90X2, then P90X3, Three, then P90X 30 minute workouts, then Insanity, then Insanity Max, then T25 with Sean T, then 80 day obsession. Then if this shit worked, we would have been all done at P90X. That's it. Would have been over. Beachbody wouldn't be a multi-billion dollar company, right? They would have been done at P90X because they would have got people fit. That's what they're trying to do. All you got instead was a really sweaty living room floor. You just keep mopping up sweat. Now, I'm gonna to explain to people exactly why this happens. So let me know how sciencey you guys wanna get.